What's up YouTube? How are we all doing today? Today we got another review and yep, we're continuing the Walmart exclusive. <coughs> Excuse me on that one. Oh well we're still continuing on to that one. That's when we hit leaving in blooper. G1 Retro, you know it's actually redone Titan Returns. Headmasters, and today we're doing Autobot Headmaster Hardhead, which this was actually my first one I had. I think I got it on Christmas Day, back when this was still going, line was gone. And you know, I know it's Titan Returns, so it's like they have really good look on them. Just I remember the bot being a lot bigger. I mean, he was about, you know, my tank, he would probably not fit on here, maybe about right there, concerning how he looks in here. But I love this packaging anyway. You got the look of the transformation on the top there. Full nice picture, window box. You're showing his headmaster here, which, what's his name? Duros. I've got to mention that in mind wipe. <laughs> uh, got side art there, showing bot mode, vehicle mode, and a little target ma a headmaster partner. Headmaster, kids, that's what it was. It's not no Titan Master. That's something they did for this new age stuff. <laughs> Back of our, back artwork with all that great old battle scene from back then. Tech spec card. And bottom of the box showing that and your EPC code. If you guys need that, there you go. So give me a minute, get him opened up. Play around with him a little bit and we'll be right on back. I kind of got hard hit out of the package just to show everything he comes with. We got the instruction booklet. Oh, got it the other way. <laughs> which does look a lot like the old style, which I do like. That's a lot easier because I think in the old, this would be folded. And you have to go through the whole thing. And he actually has a pretty simple transformation. He does have some pretty cool stuff about him, too. <sighs> so, all in all, there goes hard head. Oh, transform. I forget his. Crap, I forgot his uh, headmaster's name. So on a hunt for trying to find my last one I need. So he looks pretty dang good. Not much of a backpack either, which works good. So he does come with his big shoulder gun, which is main gun in his tank form. Which this is actually okay. I mean, the other ones I did when I made the other weapons for the... Titan master, headmasters, I don't care, I'm gonna call them what they are. He has like a little seating area so you can ride inside the, you can have one ride in the gun. Be able to, you know, blast away. <laughs> and his handgun here, the green one, which I wish we had two of these. Remember he had, he was a double blaster guy, gets sick right in this hole here. Yeah, it looks a little bit weird, but you'll see that. <clears throat> wow, that's popped right out of there this time. Stay in there, you fool. Yeah, that's look pretty good. See the head. But I'm gonna have it look a little bit closer. I know some younger <laughs> cousin might would have been freaking out because of that. As you can see, I do mind the way where you had the, the smaller head looking right at you. So there you go. Looks pretty good. Transformers old buddy. So there he goes in robot mode. Not very much. I can say like all of them. You have him sit down like so. Use that little peg. Bring the knees down as well. Bring that out. Hands go this way. Go out just a little bit. And his little noggin is on a ball joint. So you can get all those attitude and everything from him. See, you know, a lot of attitude. Do a good full 360. And basically, that's about it on up and down. Now, with him, you can, sometimes it's a lot better to switch the head around. Full 360 there. You can go up a little bit more, like so. Let's have a biceps, or, yeah, biceps swivel elbow joint. And this one, actually, his wrists swivel. That's so why he's got like this. He's supposed to be like so. I don't know what it feels like. Sounds like rattling. 
That's the head. <laughs> That's why you do it the other way. It kind of sticks in there a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It doesn't wrap around as much you get though. The other way around. Yes, hey. Oh, no, no waste wiggle. Kick out. Pretty dang close to van damage. And definitely kick somebody right in the mush. Kick back. Right up to the shoulder there. <laughs> I think that's helpful with transformation as well. Uh, I'm already blanking out on how to do it. <laughs> Toad up and down, but no rock or anything. He's kind of almost got like a set foot pose, though. You see what I mean? You see him like this. And he kind of. You can see it looks like his feet are hovering. So you gotta kind of bring him out just a little bit. Bring that gun back. Need to fit that back in there like so. There he goes with that. So let's get him on transformation. Don't need that. Do that. Help the head out. Bring the hands back in. And just basically collapse those. I'll be doing an early step, but yeah. <laughs> and he does somewhere. Detach, come up, bring that back down. I think no, he does not go. Actually comes the front end. He goes in like so. Why is his hand not want to go in? First time I ever had that happen. Put it in there, and this goes. Oops, come around. There we go. Bring the whole back end here. Put the feet in. Nose up. Two little clips here. Sorry, I'm not, not telling you. <laughs> you clip those in on both sides and fix that arm too back in there. And there's that. <laughs> Simple as that. Open up his canopy. Like I said, I wish there was another one. Yeah, make sure all that is joined in there. So that's what like it is. That's what makes me think it isn't. Let me move this down like so. Bring that down like so. There we go. That's better. I feel like this should be in a little bit more to me, but I might be off. Make sure I get all that in there connected. I'll pick up this gun here in a minute. I'm glad it didn't go too far. <laughs> I've had some stuff go flying a mile away. Bring that in. I wonder if that's how that should work. You gotta be silly and do like a smaller one, but yeah, this big old sucker is what needs to be there. It's funny how that works better than how Crapple did. Kind of wish they had something though for the in the head. Could have made this fit in the head master slot. Cause yeah, this kind of looks. Yeah, it looks a little on the goofy side. It does rotate. I guess you can bring it up a little bit and get it to rotate a little bit more. It just is where you want to put it. So open up the canopy here. And bring this around. So you transform him. Oh, make sure to rotate the head back. I mean, it's easier if had, when you do the headmaster. See how that's facing? If you turn the, to me. You have them facing that way, it works a little bit better. The actual little face. And if you're hearing any noises, sorry, I don't know why my st stomach's been acting up lately. <laughs> okay, bring him back in. Got him sitting in there like so. And you can lock him in place. And there he is, driving away. <laughs> now, I remember the old hard head. I wish I had it for 
thing, but alas, mice <laughs> issue. Oh, I don't think I got it. I don't think I got them in there right. Let's feel off. Oh, duh. One little thing here. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I think that's the first little hit. Hang on, I forgot to bring down. So now you can actually roll it very easily. The old toy that was about maybe double this size, which to me for hard, he's a big tank. I think it works better. But he definitely looks good. I like how he works, and he's really easy to transform, which does help. But he's newer, some of these newer ones have got so many crazy complex transformations. That's why I'm sorry, but I won't be doing a black arachnia. She one little bit broke. It was one of her hands, too, just like the very tip. I'm thinking, nope, I ain't gonna mess with doing that on camera and have another one break. So, get him transformed here back. I'm gonna do a little bit of cheat steps. Get the fists out. Fists. Fistuses out early. There. I say it like that. Put that one down there. Get him out of here so he doesn't mess up. I forget his name, and it's gonna drive me bonkers now. Oh, and you can be a little silly too if you want to. Sure, you got the your crazy mad thing. Think about your Sid mode. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. Call it Sid mode. Bring the legs back down here, like so. And then bring that all up. Make sure that connects. Bring this back down. Bring the backpack down. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's got a spot, two spots back here in the back to connect into. Maybe get it in the right position, that is. All right, no, on the butt. <laughs> I thought part of that that went in. Wait a minute. Bring the gun port up. So, yeah, there you go. So here's Hardhead quickly transformed back. I do admit that's the only thing I have against him is these real long arms, almost like monkey like. <laughs> but, still, he's a fun figure. Quick and easy. I thought, I know it's an old toy, but to me, maybe it's the show. I thought he had a um, faceplate. They just did real good. They got the green. I like the little. So you got the red symbols and got a little black one down here. Which looks really good. His articulation is really good. Um, he might be a little flimsy. Just a little bit. That's normal. Oh, I do have a problem getting that all the time. <laughs> the toes staying in there. And I forgot to show the knee joint off. Yeah, anyway, he's. I like him. I'm glad I got him. I didn't wait. So next up will probably be another con, and I think I might be doing my old favorite. The main one I had as a kid will probably be next. That'll be Weird Wolf. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Check out the description below and help out a lot of the channels I have listed. Especially Patriot Prime, Deluxe Baldwin, Kato's Collection, Inu's Hobby, or Inu Table, Larkin's Lair, Sardo, Homespun Geek, Last Sassy, Last Catchem, Sassy Cajun, Silver Haired Wolf, and the rest. Because <laughs> if I went through them all, it would take forever. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said again, uh, also check out the playlist. Wherever the heck YouTube's put them, I don't know what the heck they've done. So, learn how to love, forget how to hate. We definitely need less hate in this damn world. Be kind of one another. Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. Rock on.